Lesson 4, Short Tours of the Night Sky. In this lesson, you'll learn how to use a basic star chart and take a short tour of the night sky as it appears in each of the four seasons. In lesson 2, you learned how the sky appears to move from day to day and year to year, where to find the celestial poles, equator, and the ecliptic. Next, you'll learn what's on the celestial sphere, the bright stars and constellations you can see each season from the northern and southern hemisphere. Learning the sky is really no different than learning the streets of a new city or town. A map is usually the best way to find your way around. Of course, to start out, you don't need a super detailed map with elevations and all kinds of other things on it. You just need a basic star map, or a basic map showing you the major streets and landmarks. You need to know how to get from place to place. It's really the same with star charts. Now, many advanced astronomers use highly detailed star atlases that have thousands of stars and deep sky objects, along with markings of coordinates down to the degree level. When you're starting out, you really don't need that. You just need a good basic star chart that shows you where to find the bright stars in the main constellations at a particular time and place. And today, that's what we're going to do. We're going to show you a couple of simple star charts for each hemisphere that will show you what you can see in each of the four seasons. So, first we really need to learn how to read a star chart. So let's take a look at two basic types of star charts. The planisphere and a simple printed star chart. Um, we're going to start off with, this is a simple printed star chart. Now these can be downloaded from the internet and I'm going to give you a link so that you can go check out a couple of different sites on, on how these work. But uh, this particular one gives you uh, specific items that you can see in the night sky. And if you're facing south, you hold it south up. If you're facing north, hold it north up. And basically, this is how the sky will appear to you. The other type of uh, star chart, simple star chart, is a planisphere. Planisphere is really just a, um, a universal star chart. If you look closely, you'll see around the inside ring, there's the time. Around the outside ring is the date. So you line up the time and date for a specific time and date, hold the planisphere, and look facing north towards Polaris. Polaris is in the center here, and this is how the sky should appear. Looking south, this way, this is how the sky will appear. The other thing you'll find is normally most planispheres are going to have the instructions on the back. Uh, there's another type. This is a real common planisphere you'll see a lot. Um, if you're facing north, you use this side. If you're facing south, you use this side. Most important thing about a planisphere is they're for a specific latitude. So what you want to do is you want to find one that is within range for your latitude, whether you're in the northern or southern hemisphere. So make sure that you check that when you go looking for a planisphere. And that's it for this one, and I'll see you in the next lecture.